Oh, nice of you to drop by. Could have showed up a little bit earlier and given me a hand. Carl here, Bunny's Garage. Today we're back on the Oldsmobile and we are doing the trans. Uh, replacing the seal and the front pump. Trans is out. Got a hell of a fucking mess under there. Anyway, clean up. See you soon, eh? Again, cleaned up uh, the slaughterhouse underneath the automobile. Uh, trains fell off the jack, and of course, doing things by yourself, trying to grab jacks, transes, and uh, everything else. Yep, she slipped right over and tipped over sideways and dumped everything. So, anyway, but anyway, today we are doing the pump, front pump. Got a kit here, one of these. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's got the gasket, seal, front ring, uh, front seal. So we'll get in, get that done. <sighs> get you down here for a look. Wherever we are. There you go. Can you see? Oh, well, tough. Anyway, you might wonder why it's standing up on end. Ratchet tied to the to the bench because uh, I've never done one of these before. Um, so you're going to learn with me. But I have googled some uh, videos and watched. So now I'm a professional because uh, I've seen it on uh, on the internet. So I can do it now. I'm professional. Yeah. Good luck anyway. So you're learning with me. All right, so we've got to undo all these bolts here. I don't even know if you're looking. If you're not, go have a coffee. Undo all these bolts here, just a uh, half inch, and slide this pump, the front pump out. But the reason I've got it standing up is uh, all your clutches and everything are lined up in there. So if it's laying down flat, um, I don't want all the clutches to drop out of place when I pull this pump out so hopefully standing on end like this they should all stay in place carefully pull that pump out and we shouldn't have any issues <laughs> famous last words but anyway let's get in there what I want to do is just mark it because um, they don't actually I want to get it back in on the right place straight away, so. So let's mark it where that bottom is. Might mark the top too. Might not. housing of the trams so I know that that's there this is top alright so we'll put a mark make sure we put a mark on the top just put a dot there and a dot on the bell housing alright so that should line up again I hope it's not like an even bolt pin only goes in one way. Um, so yeah, like I said, you're learning with me. So hey, if I do it wrong, I do it wrong. Unless you mean you'll know what not to do. Alright, so get in there. 
put these bolts out. They do have little washers on there too. Don't lose them, because it's all got to be torqued back down. The kit actually comes in washers actually. Meant to have, uh, you can get a puller to pull that out. Oh, of course, I don't have one. So, when you don't have the right tools, uh, you make do with what you got. A couple of beers of ice grips. You got little wrenches on here so you can just clamp ice grips on each side. Scripts just pull off. I'll do a tip with the ammo. Ice grips in the way. There we have it. It was actually a lot easier than what I thought it would be. Looks like all those clutches just stayed in there. Oh fuck. Never mind. Anyway, it's not what I really need to do. Worry about that another day. Alright. Well, that was actually a lot easier than what I thought. Yeah, here for a look, eh? So yeah, there it is. Here's the front pump. Alright. That's this seal here. That one right on here. That's the one that's leaking. As you see that, it's pretty in there and this is the gasket here which is quite dry and crusty too and not even sitting flat but yeah there's bits missing and so that's pretty naked oh that's uh, quite nasty um yeah so there it is front pump that's what it looks like in there your clutches all stacked up in here. First time I've actually dug in and had a good look inside a tranny. Wow, that didn't sound good. First time I've uh, dug in and looked inside a transmission. Um, yeah, the other way I don't really want to have a look inside. Anyway, that's it. So. Got the kit over here, there's a gasket there, there's your big seal, that's your front seal for where your talking converter goes in. So 
Okay, I'll do some brake clean, clean this up, and uh, we'll do that seal one. All right, so I just cleaned up, uh, cleaned up the face of this, pulled that gasket off, and um, yeah, she's pretty brittle, it just crumbles. Um, when you're doing these, really pays to take a lot of notice of uh, when you pull the gasket off. The gasket actually fell off pretty easy, apart from around the holes, or any bolt holes. There was like tiny little bits just at the bottom there between that lip and there, tiny little bits of gasket that were stuck, stuck. So you don't want to leave any of them on there, otherwise you'll be doing all this job all over again. But anyway, so the gasket's off, it's all cleaned up on that face. Uh, I've just started to pop this front seal out here. Just finish getting that out. There it goes. The old spectacles because I uh, can't actually see. So we'll get in there and just clean that up. It wasn't actually leaking out of the seal, but hey, we are in here. Might as well do with that. Because I don't want to be clean shit out again to do um, something that I should have done when I was in here. It's obviously uh, quite recent that it's been done. There's a um, RTV in here. Alright, uh, so give that a clean out. So that's all cleaned up, ready for the new seal to go in. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of this shit on there. It's just a gasket maker. Yeah, use RTV or whatever. I don't really like using RTV if you can get away with it on trainers. Right, here's the new seal. All right. okay, you just want to put just a smidge around there. One, it helps it seal. Two, it just helps it slide in there a little bit nicer. Definitely the same size. Oh, you can't. Anyway, 
Let me go and find something round enough so I can uh, tap that in there. Alright, baby again. <sighs> yep, it went in. There we go, new seals on. You see? There we go. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier when you use your brain and uh, take it over and put it in the press. Straight in there then. Alright, so anyway. Get this uh, rubber seal off around here. myself some of those little picks. There we go. Yep, I'd say that was a problem. That seal just snapped. Oh. This breaks off. Crumbling onto pieces. Oh, we don't want to drop that inside the trans do. So yeah, that was definitely long past over there. Look, it's just snapping. Rubbish. All right, so. Spray some brake clean in there. Just clean that around in that groove. Just like that. Just run that around the other way. Alright. So, got the new seal. And I'll just chuck a bit of grease on there. Somewhere. Alright, so that's gone. Um, Let's use a little bit of oil. Oh, well. I did have some uh, rubber grease somewhere, but um, it's gone for a little uh, walkabout somewhere. Right, let's put a bit of grease on here so you're not putting it in dry. Oil, actually, not grease. Well, you can use grease. I just seen the oil container um, first. All right, so she's all oiled up. All right, just slip it into that top groove there. It's actually got a white line on the outside. So you can actually make sure that it's going in the right way. White line faces out, not in. And there we go, she's in there. Right, just cleaned the lid up and uh, put the new gasket on there. And what a hassle. There's that many holes in there. Trying to find out which takes to line up with the bolt holes and which don't. Took about five minutes trying everything. But anyway, it's on there now. New front seal's on, new seal there is on. Uh, I'll just put a bit of gasket maker on the other side of that gasket. Uh, just cause I can. And it will stop that gasket from moving around when you're trying to drop the uh, pump in. So hopefully that will make it easier. Uh, just put some uh, ATF translip just around on the edge there, just on that seal. So hopefully it just drops in there nicely, doesn't catch. Ah, so I think 
We might be ready. Right, there we go. I'll get you in there so you can see. Where are you? There we go. You come over here, eh? How much you're gonna see, but hey, you might. My glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Alright. Top. So, this is the bottom of the pump. Alright. So, just wanna drop that. Straight in. too easy okay I'm not gonna complain all right get some bolts right. so we got the bolts so the new washers that were supplied so might as well use them Alright, so we want to torque them up. Alright, I'm going to torque them up, 24 pounds. Yeah, uh, 24 pounds it says in um, old Google Land. Down, um, chuck the torque wrench on now. 20 foot pounds, I reckon. So, yep.
Alright. So we'll talk down. And as you notice already, but never leave your torque wrench wound up when you're not using it. It's quite bad for them. Uh, back in there, the mark lined up so it sort of helped you get it in the right place so you dropped it in and went mucking around. New front seal, everything's done. Whew. Well, it's the first time I've ever done that. So thanks for your help. Um, yeah, wrapped. Just hopefully there's no more leaks. Been chasing leaks on this bloody thing since I've owned it. I think I've replaced every seal now. Probably not. Um, so yeah, oh, that's that job done anyway. So, next is, uh, I'll wait for the motor to come back and I'll chuck that back in probably. Um, get some other shit done. So anyway, if you're still there, like, subscribe, comment. Um, yeah, if you've seen me do anything wrong, just, hey, drop a comment down there and let me know. Because everyone, hey, only way you can learn is by doing things and, uh, sometimes you do them wrong. So if you've got a better way of doing it, let me know. Um, yeah, anyway, it's done. Enjoy your day. Make sure you hit subscribe, eh? Have a good one. See you.